Hey everyone, so today I just wanted to show you one of my new puzzle mods, the 3x3 Slim. So a 3x3 Slim, for those of you that don't know, is basically a 3x3 with the top and bottom layers cut in half to give it this kind of proportionality. And so what that does, it, may, it creates this sort of shape shifting movement. And so yeah, that looks really cool. But it doesn't hinder the 3x3 solve in any way, it solves the exact same as a normal 3x3, except it just looks a lot different. So I used Corn Puzzles tutorial to make this, and he has a tutorial on his channel on how to make a 3x3 Slim. Um, it was a very simple mod, and so what you need is a capped 3x3. And so what I mean by that is a 3x3 that has caps that come off. And so this is a Shengsha Wind. And so the building process, an overview of that, you basically take the caps off and you cut the pieces in half so that um, it's half of a normal size and then you take the caps and you just put them back on. And so that eliminates the need to use a epox epoxy sculpt to fill in the pieces and so that just adds to the simplicity of just building this puzzle. And so there were a few imperfections, you can see here that um, there are some marks here that I made trying to cut it when, yeah, I had some difficulty cutting it. Um, but if you actually look here, you can see it's kind of unproportional. It's not totally flat. And so, yeah, I could have easily fixed that by just removing the caps and just going over it with sandpaper and just evening out the pieces, but... I only noticed this until after I glued in the center caps, and so it was a little too late to do that, but it's still a pretty fun mod. I think it came out pretty well. And so I guess the only difficulty with this was um, doing these center pieces. And so what you do is you cut this center piece in half, just like all the other pieces, but by the time it got to the screw, you have to... Um, sort of draw out the hole so that's big enough for the screw to go in. And so it was kind of hard to figure out um, just how to fit that the screw in there and to just fit the center cap back on. But in Quorum Puzzle's tutorial, he cuts the stock screw sp and springs um, to a certain length that it fits in here. But I actually couldn't get that to work and so luckily I had some Shengshao Linglong uh, screws and springs and that actually fit pretty well in here so I managed to put some springs in here um, and in Cor Corn Puzzle um, he actually didn't put springs in here and so that's the springs actually make the turning a lot better so if you are looking to make this puzzle maybe try to get your hands on some uh, Shengshao Linglong 3x3 screws and springs and so Here's what it looks like scrambled. You can see that looks pretty awesome. Um, but you still solve it the same way as you would any 3x3. It just looks disproportional, but it looks really, really cool. So I guess I'll do a quick solve for you guys. It's kind of hard to sort of just handle this puzzle just because of the disproportionate layers. But the overall movement is pretty good. So yeah, there it is. Um, so the stickers that I used were just uh, cubicle 57mm 3x3 stickers and so I just cut those in half to get these kind of slimmer layers. Overall, I think this was an okay mod. There were a few imperfections where I could have fixed and worked on, but it was a very simple building process and it was very fun to make. And so if you guys want to try out this mod for yourself, you can head over to Corn Puzzle's channel for a tutorial. And so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.